Dear student, my name is Anuris Balova and uh, I am PhD and Associate Professor of Managing Marketing Department of Muhtar Awezov South Kazakhstan University. And discipline which we will um, consider today is marketing research and theme will be just um, defining the marketing research problem and developing a research approach. And plan will be just the marketing decision and research problem and components of the research approach. And here just we can ask that the how to identify research problem and um, <coughs> problem identification process will be and next like this one identify a field or area of interest divide the broad area in, into smaller sub areas select the most interesting topic write the research question formulate the objectives evaluate and re-evaluate the objectives and here just the problem identification research is a critical first step uh, in the marketing research process. It focuses on a, um, the specific issues, challenges or opportunities that an organization needs to address. And uh, um, problem identific identification research and here just consists of market and potential research, market share research, image research, market characteristic research, sales analysis research, and uh, forecasting research. Mm, and of course, it's a business trends research. And uh, um, we can see that it's a problem solving research. It means it's a segmentation, product, uh, pricing research, promotion, and distribution research also. And here we should consider that the purpose of problem identification research. Uh, first one is to clarify that the research problem, which in, uh, includes the determines the exact nature and scope of the issue and all opportunity. Avoid addressing symptoms instead of the root cause. And second one, it will be guide research design, provide a clear direction for developing research question, uh, help in selecting appropriate research methodologies. And here just prioritize it issue, which means it's identify and rank issues. And uh, second one will be focus resource on the most critical problems. And uh, here just importance of marketing research, why it's important in the process of marketing research. It means it's uh, informed decision making, understanding consumer behavior, identifying market opportunities and reducing risk. And uh, what about its marketing research process overview? It means it's um, defining the problem, developing a research approach, formulating research design, data collection, and of course it's um, data analysis and reporting, and of course it's a presentation. Defining the research problem, it means it's a foundation of research, ensure focus and relevance, avoids waste resources. And the steps to define the research problem, it uh, identifies the symptoms, analyzes the situation, un understands the decision maker objective, determines its research objectives. And here just identifies the symptoms, it's a differentiate between symptoms and problem. For example, um, declining sales, I mean, it will be just symptom. And we as an effective marketing strategy, it will be problem. And here, just analyzing the situation, it means it's a conduct a situation analysis, review existing information, identify gaps in knowledge. And here, just understanding decision make objective, it will be just to align research with business goals, prioritize research question, and of course, it's to ensure actionable outcomes. And here, just uh, determining research objectives, it's clear and specific objectives, relevant to the problem, feasible to achieve within constraints. And developing a research approach, it means it's a framework for the research, ensure systematic investigation. And here, just component of research uh, approach, it, it will be just a research design, data sources, sampling plan, and uh, data collection methods. Uh, here, just the research, if we hear just the components of research approach, we uh, research design will be considered just um, separately. And research design, it means, me, it means uh, exploratory, descriptive, causal, choosing the right design. And data sources, primary data, secondary data, and of course, it's benefit and limitation of each. Sampling plan, it means it uh, defines the population, sampling methods, um, sample size consideration. And what about the data collection methods? It means it's service and questionnaires, interviews on and focus group, observation research, choosing the appropriate methods. And you can see that it's a problem, um, problem solving research on this figure. 
And here, just you can see this five stage of problem solving. Uh, it means it's a, it consists of um, five stages. First, it will be define the problem. Second one, it will be generate solution. And uh, stage three, it will be just um, evaluate solution. And stage four, it means it's a pick a solution. And last one, it will be uh, make a plan. And of course, it's, um, we can see uh, improving the research approach. And first one, it will be comprehensive research design. It means it's a develop a detailed research design that includes clear steps, methodologies, and timeliness. Robust data collection methods it will be a second uh, you know, point to uh, utilize advanced data collection techniques, such as uh, online service, mobile ethnography, and big data analytics. And here just will be effective sampling strategies, which include its uh, ensure your sample is representative of the target population to enhance the generalizability of the findings. And fourth, it will be leverage technology and tools. It means that to use advanced data analysis and visualization tools, uh, for example, SPSS and W. And here just an uh, interactive and ad adaptive approach. Uh, which just it means it's to stay flexible and be prepared to adjust the research design based on initial finding and new sites. And here, just next, will be stakeholder communication and reporting. It's very, um, I think it's uh, very important in the process, I mean, just in marketing research. And here, ethical consideration, of course, it should be because it's adhered to ethical standards and guidelines in data collection and analysis. And here just will be post-research evaluation. It means it's after completing the research, review the process to identify strengths. And here just we can see um, by implementing these strategies, you can significantly improve the process of defining this marketing research problem and developing a robust research approach leading to more accurate and actionable insights. And here just um, uh, we, c we can conclude that some marketing research is uh, very important and you can uh, define the marketing research problem and developing a research approach and interdependent steps that lay the groundwork for successful research. Uh, by clear identifying the problem, setting precise objective, choosing the appropriate methodology and planning for data collection and analysis, businesses can ensure the research efforts and effective and impactful. And we can say that um, uh, marketing research, I mean, it's uh, uh, collect data, interviews, it's very important because it's um, uh, thanks to these methods, you can just uh, get um, interesting facts, uh, which can useful will be in a marketing process research. And we can say that uh, by clear identifying um, the problem setting precise objective, choosing the appropriate methodology and planning for data collection and analysis, businesses can ensure the research efforts and effective impactful. And of course, uh, we can say that uh, these steps not only provide a clear direction for the research, but also enhance the relevance and utility of the findings and ultimately supporting better strategic um, decision and business outcomes. But I want to just uh, return this um, and say that it's very um, important to that. Uh, uh, stakeholder communication and reporting because it's uh, provide uh, regular updates to stakeholders and uh, to keep them informed and engaged throughout the research process. And of course, it's the uh, present findings in a clear, concise um, and actionable manner using the visual aids and um, executive, I mean, just executive summaries. And here, just the ethical consideration, as I mentioned before, it means just uh, um, adhere to ethical standards and guidelines in data collection and analysis, uh, because I'm really wanted to determine that uh, this aspect which influence uh, on marketing uh, research process. And here, just um, as I said um, before, it's mentioned about its conclusion, and. Um, I think it's, um, this information will be just useful for you in uh, um, learning because it's a marketing research and um, will be useful for your education process. Thank you so much. 
for your attention.